and Dolly Hurst. This week I'm going to be telling all of our Matilda stories as requested by Emily and Pippa. I do hope you enjoy it. Story time, story time, follow me. Take a seat, settle down, listen, see. I can see a rainbow shining red, gold, green and blue. And I would like to climb it now with you. to a woodland clearing with a river running through. Over the river is a bridge and a little house. It's Grandma and she lives here with Grandpa and together they live here with their granddaughter Matilda. One morning, Matilda was woken up by a sound. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. It was the sound of the rain. Matilda loved the rain. She ran down the stairs to tell Grandma. And there, in the kitchen, she found that Grandma was just stirring the porridge. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in the pot, nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold, and some like it in the pot, nine days old. Matilda ate her porridge as quickly as she could, because Matilda loved to play in the rain. And she quickly went to get dressed. This is the way we put on our clothes, put on our clothes, put on our clothes. This is the way we put on our clothes on a cold and rainy morning. She put on her great big waterproof coat. She put on her waterproof hat. She put on her waterproof weather boots. And that, said Matilda, is that. Before she went out into the garden, Grandma gave her some seed to feed the birds. The birds were busy building their nests high in the trees. Matilda ran out into the garden and the rain had stopped. And there in the tree was a little red robin. Little Red Robin high in the trees, Little Red Robin fly down to me. The Robin pecked at the seed on the ground, and Matilda tried to see how close she could get to the Little Robin. But the Robin was too scared of Matilda, and it flew away back to its nest. And something caught her eye in the tree. It was a spider. Wincy, wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And wincy, wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Grandpa was busy in the garden, tending to the weeds, ready for the spring flowers to bloom. Matilda went to see what he was doing. Just by the flower beds, she spotted a great big puddle. Oh, the trouble with this puddle is it's difficult to see. If it comes up to my ankle or it comes up to my knee. And if I were to jump in it, the chances are I'll get a welly full of water and a sock that's wet. Matilda splashed and splashed in the great big puddle until the rain began to pour and pour. Grandma was calling Grandpa and Matilda from the kitchen to come inside to get warm and dry. Once she was in her warm, clean clothes, she had a lovely supper of soup. Grandma sliced the bread. Slice, slice, the bread looks nice. Spread, spread, the butter on the bread. She ate her supper and she told Grandma about the little robin and the spider in the tree. She put on her pyjamas, cleaned her teeth, and as her eyes began to close, Grandma sang her a lullaby. The sun has gone to sleep. Good night, sun. The trees have gone to sleep. Good night. The flowers in their beds rest their weary heads. So go to sleep, go to sleep, close.
close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, and dream of pretty things. Close your eyes, close your eyes, baby's bedtime lullaby. Goodbye now, goodbye now, it's time for me to go. Goodbye now, goodbye now, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.